gear. He's flying in from Washington tomorrow night with some people, some government people. I want you to show him a good time in Havana. Later on in the evening, we're all invited to the presidential palace for reception, bringing the new year. After it's over, then you take me home in a military car, alone, for my protection. Before I reach my hotel, I'll be assassinated. trying to kill me in my home. It was Roth all along. He acts like I'm his son, his successor. But he thinks he's going to live forever. He wants me out. So how can I help? You just go along as though you know nothing. I've already made my move. What move? I mean, Roth will never see the new year. There was this kid I grew up with. He was younger than me. Sort of looked up to me, you know. We did our first work together. Worked our way out of the street. Things were good. We made the most of it. During Prohibition, we ran molasses into Canada. Made a fortune. Your father, too. As much as anyone, I loved her and trusted her. Later on, he had an idea to build a city out of a desert stopover for GIs on the way to the West Coast. That kid's name was Mo Green. And the city he invented was Las Vegas. This was a great man. Man of vision and guts. And there isn't even a plaque or a signpost or a statue of him in that town. Someone put a bullet through his eye. No one knows who gave the order. When I heard it, I wasn't angry. I knew Mo, I knew he was headstrong, talking loud, saying stupid things. So when he turned up dead, I let it go. And I said to myself, this is the business we've chosen. I didn't ask who gave the order, because it had nothing to do with business. Two million in a bag in your room. I'm going in to take a nap. When I wake, if your money's on the table, I'll know I have a partner. If it isn't, I'll know I don't. <laughs> 